So, you know the feeling that you get when someone is telling you that something big is going to happen, but they just kind of allude to it and not tell you oh, straight yeah. forward? Yeah, yeah, that's a weird feeling. Yeah, so that's kind of what I get whenever I read this gospel. Are we rolling? Yes. Melissa, you almost messed this one up. Oops. <laughs> Hi, I'm Veronica, and this over here is Melissa. Welcome back to The Word on the Word. This week, we're going to break down the gospel for Sunday. Like I was saying earlier to Veronica, Jesus is hinting at his ascension and Pentecost. He tells his disciples to not be afraid. He also says that he is going back to his father, but they should be happy for him. Have you ever felt happy for someone making a big change in their life? Yeah, some of my friends moved away to go to a school that they really wanted to attend. It was difficult for me to say goodbye to them because I wanted to be around them. However, I knew that they were trying to do what was best for them. Personally, I moved away from my last semester of college and it was hard to say goodbye to the friends that I had made, but I knew that I was making the best choice for my future. I still keep in touch with a lot of those friends today and try to meet up with them whenever I can. Well, this week, we challenge you to reach out to someone you haven't seen or talked to in a while. If they live nearby, go grab lunch or a coffee. Or if they're far away, pick up the phone and give them a call. And we'll see you here next week. Bye. Bye.